A setback that uh, you know, I experienced uh, was when I was in first grade. Um, I actually um, had an accident where I was playing football and um, I suffered a broken neck. I have a lot of trouble with lights, so even right now I'm pretty much blinded. I, after my son was born, I developed a genetic autoimmune disease in my eyes that called iritis that targeted the white blood cells in my eyes. They changed my vision. I lost some of my vision, developed a cataract, and so I've become very light sensitive, so being anywhere with lights is particularly hard for me. A step back in my life is knowing that like my freshman and sophomore year, I slacked off a lot. And there wasn't, I didn't really see a goal for me. I was like, okay, well, the DREAM Act hasn't passed. There's not a way that I can go off to college and study. For 17 years, I've battled three different cancer diagnoses. And with each one of those, I had to go through rounds of chemo and radiation. Um, this last one was probably the toughest for me this last year. I've had a lot of negative thoughts about it. It's been very frustrating. I had to overcome fear. That was the first thing I had to do in this cancer experience, is I had to overcome fear. Fear of death, fear of not knowing what the future is going to bring. You know, I had little kids, so it was really frightening. Um, but I learned to let that go. And instead, I was able to grab onto hope. And that made all the difference in the world. There's always something that is going to throw you back but you always have to keep on going and keep in staying where you want to stay. And that's what I've learned through all of this. So keep on walking, keep on going, even though there might be bumps down the road. You just keep on fighting for what you want. You know, you look at any team that's ever won a championship or had had a successful season, they had to go through whatever their little stumbling block was. And if they're able to get through that hurdle, it usually may make them stronger too. And hopefully that's how we can look at setbacks. And sometimes we need to say, you know, thank you for the circumstances in our life. Um, not that I wanted cancer, but um, I'm glad I am who, who I am today through all of this. It's made me, it made me stronger and maybe a better person. I used to paint a lot. We have murals all over our whole house. I have painted a lot of acrylic paintings, large canvases, and after when my second son was born, I developed rheumatoid arthritis in my eyes and then in my hands, and it made painting very difficult and painful. So instead of painting with a brush now, I usually paint with words. So I have... My books have been published from three different publishers so far, and I have another trilogy coming out next spring. Um, that is a way that I can keep artistic side of me going without having to cause the pain in my wrists and hands from holding a paintbrush. You can ask for help when you really need it. Ask for help because in those interactions with people, we bless each other in that giving and that receiving of love. And it, it's an amazing gift. Having the people around you to encourage you to keep persevering, I think is really worth it in the long run. I recently had a CAT scan and last Monday and it came back all clear. So I am cancer free right now. So I'm very thankful and very blessed.